Hello Miami, I'm Pete Blackshaw, longtime friend of SoCap. I am really, really sincerely sorry that I cannot be there. You may recall back in 2010, I wrote uh, one of uh, my two or three cover stories in your SoCap magazine. I wrote a story about the bold new world of consumer 2.0. And I basically argued that your industry is in a very, very unique position to seize the momentum in this whole digital and social media space, that um, the importance of conversation, opinion, feedback is greater than ever and certainly very consequential. The question is, to what extent will, you, will our industry lead you know, this change and kind of get in front of the wave? And I think all of us have done a pretty good job, but I still think there's a massive amount of work to do. I've now been at Nestle for five years, almost five years, and I've really been trying in my capacity as the leader of the digitally powered brand building, really focus on you know, the consumer services space. In fact, I've really put it in the center of our entire um, you know, operation. And I'll tell you one thing, the, the, the task has gone up you know, even more. 1.4 billion people on Facebook and the word of mouth effect of kind of positive and negative service experiences is profound. And that's before we count Pinterest, that's before we count Instagram, that's before we count the instant messenger apps that are popping up all over the place. Kind of transforming the conversation and they're having a really big consequence, which means that you're in the driver's seat. You're in a very unique position to, um, you know, have a very, very positive impact. Um, at Nestle, I've been trying to tackle this in a number of different ways, you know, really putting the consumer services department in the center of the brand building mix. So the first thing that we've done is that we have rebranded consumer services as consumer engagement services. And adding that E, the engagement, is really, really important. You'll recall in my book I talked about consumer services being the neglected stepchild in the organization. It's been siloed. Um, seen as a non-strategic cost center. And by putting that engagement piece into the mix, it can really make a huge difference in terms of the way people think about the organization. It also maximizes the synergy. The reality is that it's not just about responding to direct feedback. It's about responding to the feedback that's all around us. And what we're trying to do at Nestle with consumer engagement services is almost be platform agnostic. You know, we don't care where it's coming from. If the consumer has an opinion, if they're posting it on Facebook or sending us a letter or giving us a direct piece of feedback through a contact us form, we handle it through the same systems, through the same market and automation flows. And that is important because the consumer expects a consistent brand experience. I don't need to tell you this, but there are different types of organizational models we can develop to take advantage of that. And I certainly want to be more relevant to uh, the marketing organization. We've also shifted the accounting from cost center to marketing. And so we've kind of classified consumer engagement services as a marketing expense, which is a really big deal because we're now in an environment where we can quantify the buzz. We can quantify the online conversation. I started a company, I sold to Nielsen in this space. A lot of companies are doing this and we have real data that can actually do attribution modeling between earned media output and service inputs. And our task as an industry, as leaders within our respective companies is to really make that connection between the investment we're making in things like 24 seven you know, call centers or friendlier feedback forms or adding chat or all those great things that you're doing and really showing the connection to earned media. It can now be quantified and that creates a huge opportunity and allows us to kind of put it much more in the marketing expense area. Think about all the money that the marketing department is spending to amplify earned media, to create favorable buzz and word of mouth. You play a very critical role in that enterprise. Again, I will be there next year, <laughs> I promise. Um, but I appreciate the opportunity for you to allow me to beam in from um, this beautiful place called Switzerland, which has been such a great inspiration. Thanks for listening. I'm Pete Blackshaw, uh, friend of SoCap, uh, global head of digital and social media uh, here at Nestle. Thanks for your time. <laughs>